Hey everybody, welcome back. Today EB's got some more cool stuff. Well, the second wave of Masters of the Universe Origins hit, uh, at least hit meaning they shipping from uh, any pre-orders that were online, and I got me some Trapjaw. <laughs> Pretty excited for this figure. I uh, was a little worried I wasn't going to get them because I couldn't, I got all of them except for Scareglow, which by the way, here's Wave 2, well, except for He-Man and Skeletor, but Wave 2 is Man, uh, Manny Faces, Orko, Trapjaw, and Scareglow, and I didn't get Scareglow. Well, I didn't get him pre-ordered, so I hope to still achieve him at some point, but right now I've got uh, the other three, so this video, we're going over Trappy. So, pretty excited for Trappy. He looks pretty cool. And uh, I think he's got a lot of his accessories in the back. I can't really see behind the package yet. So, that's what we're here to do, though, is open this bad boy up. So, let's check him out. Okay, here we go with Trappy McTrapjaw. And I am excited about this guy. I do really like these bright colors. His face is a little softish looking. But anyway, we'll get into that in a second, because I'll take him out of the package, duh. So let's check out the back of his package and his special artwork. That is pretty cool. It's uh, got his little gun attachment, and he's got his zip line through his, his helmet hole. So that's cool. And here's the rest of the back there. Does talk about putting his, uh, his attachments into his arm. Oh yeah, and his jaw does. Well, I hope his jaw moves. I know it did in the classic figure, so... Let's hope they didn't omit that, but let's find out, because let's just open him right now. Here we go, here we go. Here we go, hopefully, here we go. I do like that they're easy to open. I'm sure people that steal them really like that too. Just kidding, kids, don't do that. Again, stealing is bad. All right, so here's his pack of stuff and one of his rubber bands. And it's... I think that was it. Oh, nope, he's got the, the feet rubber bands. There we go. Whoa, that could have been bad. All right, so here's him. This mini comic, which all these mini comics are the same in each wave, so this is the same for all the wave two guys, but there's Trappy. I am very happy to have him. Okay, let's check this out first. Okay, yes, they did not forget to have that because that would have really been sad he's got some cool looking eyes don't know how well that'll focus but eyes are pretty awesome so the head articulates rotates up and down arm moves this oh it feels like this might move oh yeah awesome so his his elbow actually does move too that's pretty cool and other arm rotates pretty well. He does, similar to a few of the Wave 1 uh, figures, his joints do seem a little looser than what I would personally like, but I didn't make them. And they are only, uh, what are they? I think they're 15 bucks, so they're not super expensive. So that's okay, but uh, his knees, I really noticed it when I picked him up because I could feel his knees wanted to just go bloop, bloop. But, He's not going to be like surfing back anyway, so not a big concern for me. So we got some leg rotation as well too in the knees, like I said. And he uh, rot rotates at the top of the boot here. And his ankles go a little bit. The actual design of the boot there is kind of inhibiting it from going side to side. But ultimately, I mean, compared to the original figures, I mean, this is going to be way easier to pose. So his belt does come off I'm not gonna take it off but it's similar to like the beast man um, and uh, man at arms armor where it's just the uh, it's actually very similar to the original figure the way it attaches so that'd be cool to come off and it does look like he has the little hooks there so let me open up his accessories and I bet they hook on those be right back okie dokie back with trappy's stuff and this is in his accessory pack, and they do have the little hooks on them, so that's pretty cool. So you can actually just hook them on his belt, and whoops, or you can break it immediately upon trying to do that. Let's try it with a different one. 
and not try to break it. There we go, that's what I was going for. Not stretching the plastic out and snapping it off. I think it's gonna be okay. Oh, that sucked. Oh well, not a big deal. Kind of is, but not a big deal. I don't know which one I'm gonna put on him. We'll put the his little laser dealy bob in there for right now. It fits in there nice, that's what she said. And uh, I just like that you can articulate that too so he can do a little uh, aiming and some running and gunning, as they say. So, cool figure. Waist. Uh, it's, it's a lot of these hinges, including the waist, just are a little looser than my personal preference. But, hey, you know what? It's going to be okay, as they say. Well, let's head back up top and finish this video out. Okie doke. Trap jaw untrapped. I uh, really like the figure. I, I did get his little doodads on his uh, belt there, which I didn't break one. I thought I twisted it pretty bad when I was uh, doing the close-up there, but it survived, luckily for me. Otherwise, I'd be gluing it together. But it's cool. He's uh, a little uh, loose in the center there. Meh. Not a huge deal. Seems like all of them are a little loose, but... Uh, I hope that with the consecutive waves, they're able to get that a little bit more under control. I don't make toys, so I don't know how complicated that is. So from a guy from the outside, you'd think it'd be like, geez, just make it more good or I don't understand. Maybe it's super difficult. I have no idea. But if they could improve on that, that's okay. If they can't, I'm still going to buy them. I do like he has his, his jaw, his, his trap jaw, because otherwise that would be pretty disappointing. And, uh... The face is pretty pretty nice. It's a little soft on the features, kind of like mine, because I've got a little uh, dough. But uh, the eyes are awesome. The fact that they still have the little hole in his head for his zip line is cool. And uh, yeah, I'm really happy to have this. I know this is going to be a popular figure, so it's probably going to be hard to find. I hope they actually produced more of them, knowing that Trappy McTrapperton is going to be uh, popular McPopperton. So... We'll see, I guess. Walmart exclusive for now, but I guess in 2021 they're going to re-release them at other stores. So hopefully if you can't find them now, you can get them next year. Unless you're watching this in 2021 and they're available other places, forget all that and just go get them. Well, thanks for watching. Hope you don't feel trapped into watching my videos, but I enjoy my viewers. So yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment below. And until next time, I don't have anything else to say.